Yo, it's Dave here. And it's Justin. And Paul. Okay, so this week, uh, basically, we're going to each come up with a superhero that we would be. So, uh, David, why don't you start off? What is your power? My power would be to expand my lower jaw to a ridiculous size. Okay. How in the fuck are you going to use that to help people? It would be absolutely amazing. He would eat hamburgers really well. Are he would just shove gonna, it in his mouth. Are you just going to be like a pelican and you just like pick people up, put them in your mouth and <laughs> run away? Like, is that your deal? Yeah, nothing like that, but I'm sure certain things it's would pelican assist man. with that. <laughs> that nah, make, nothing like that. That would make for some really freaky imagery. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, so how are you going to help people with your giant lower jaw? Well, the one particular thing that came to my mind is it's so tough in some certain instances to open up certain things. The particular thing I'll use in this example is a jar of pickles. So you're going <laughs> to bite down on a jar of pickles, crack all of your teeth, and then open it for somebody. Well, it wouldn't be with the teeth. It would just be sort of a circular motion and opening it up with my mouth. So you're you're going to be to bite down on it. Yeah, so you're basically a glorified bottle opener. Uh, for what I could most understand, yes. I haven't quite thought of the tremendous superpower potential of having this ability. But, nevertheless, there is the possibility of it. Okay, what's your origin story? Well, one day I was just randomly walking down the street when someone was about to get hit by a vehicle. I thought I didn't have anything else important really to do that day, so I figured I'd take the chance and try to push them out of the way. I miscalculated my jump, however, and the vehicle slammed me right square in my jaw. I amazingly survived for some strange reason, but it split my jaw right in half, and I could strangely move apart my jaw and open it to a ridiculously weird size. True story. <laughs> or at least based on the true story. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. So you have just like a crack in the middle of your face now? Supposedly, yes. Well, that's... How... How do you survive in public? Because if I saw a dude with just a random crack in his face, I'd be like, you need to go to a hospital. Dude, I've been to 16 different hospitals. This is the best they could do. <laughs> but you have a crack in your face. I'm going to start calling you ass face or something. Eh, <laughs> uh, it's, too, it's, too, it's too obvious. Yeah, that's not my best work. But Okay, anything else you want to tell us about Pelican Man? Because <laughs> that's what I'm calling you. <laughs> Duly noted. Uh... It actually works out pretty decently for that, but no, I think that would be everything, and thank you very much for the superhero name. Anytime. Okay, Justin, can you beat Pelican Man? Um... Because I don't think you can. I don't think I can. I don't know, this was more based on his own personal experiences, but let's see. I would say anything that I draw animates itself. Okay, that's not bad. How are you going to use this to help people? Well, it helps with animation costs, at least. <laughs> You're not going to need a, a team of animators, too. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. So, does it just animate itself on the paper, or does it come to life and, like, walk around? Because uh, one of these is absolutely terrifying. Well, you can always <laughs> film somebody, or film a drawing or thing moving if it's going to animate itself. I mean, that, that's fine. Yeah, but if it pop, if, if you draw a little dude and he pops out into the real world, mm. that's fucking terrifying because now you've created life. Exactly. And every time you draw something, you're creating life. And how are you going to feed these poor little bastards? They don't need food. They, they can have ink or something. I don't really know. <laughs> they don't think that far ahead with that, at least. But um, for the most part, you can always just kill them later. I mean... <laughs> so now you're committing murder. <laughs> not, not just murder, <laughs> genocide. <laughs> you, just, you just advocated for genocide. But yeah, basically, that's the only way it would help society, even if it doesn't really help much because you have to take care of them by th either feeding them or destroying them. Okay, I, I did not think you would be the first person to advocate genocide, <laughs> but I, I just assumed it would be me. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really have an origin story to that, though. Nothing? 
No, I, I don't think really. the best sort of thing is just randomly checking into a place one day there was a giant explosion at a chemical plant, but you were just far away enough that it didn't affect you, but it affected your a bag of yours that had a whole bunch of your drawing equipment inside of it. And with the chemicals and radiation inside of it, it gave it an ability to create life. I, I just assumed you were like a mutant and like Professor Xavier is like, hmm, yes, propaganda films. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you know anything about Charles Xavier, he is an asshole okay. and he would create propaganda films. Well, yes, I guess so. And at the lowest cost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will save me money. <laughs> Okay, do you have anything else about your little superhero? I don't know what to call you. I don't really have a name either. Anything else you want to tell people about your animator? <laughs> the animator. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... That is... Uh, <laughs> nothing really. <laughs> nah, I think that's about as much as we're going to get out of that. So... Great Peter, yeah. what sort of superhero origin do you got? Mine's much more simple. I didn't come up with some wacky jaw nonsense or animation thing. I just want to be like the Flash, like really fast. See, the great thing about this is you'll run in, you save someone for a mugger, and then you're like, hey buddy, I saved you from getting stabbed in the face, give me 20 bucks. Or I'll bring him over here to mug you again. I can make a lot of money doing this. Mm. And it would just be fun. I think it's more around the case of an anti-hero that you have in mind, dude. Well, might be a little villainous, but come on. He's advocating genocide. Two cartoony-looking drawings that I would draw or something. Which may or may not even feel pain. (laughs) They don't feel pain. How do you know? <laughs> I don't think they do, therefore they don't. You're starting to sound more like Hitler than you probably want to. <laughs> they don't feel pain, that's f- alternative facts. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. I'm not bringing up Donald Trump. This is a Trump free zone. Okay. <laughs> Make Canada great again. Anyway. It's already fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much of an origin story. I just assumed I was like a mutant or something. Mm. <laughs> that fights against Charles Xavier. That's how I'm a hero. Because <laughs> <laughs> I take a bunch of muggers to mug Charles. Because he's an asshole. <laughs> That's how I'm a hero. I get Charles Xavier mugged and possibly stabbed. Pretty sure that makes me a hero, right? For some strange I got an old bald man in a wheelchair stabbed. For okay. some strange reason, I think you have some sort of tip with Charles Xavier. <laughs> well, he's an asshole! Okay, so after that fact, what would you use your powers for then? Getting other assholes stabbed. Okay, not me. I never said... Well, you aren't the one advocating <laughs> genocide, so I'm going to have to get you stabbed. Well, I kill, uh, like, bajillion video game characters in, like, a GTA game or something. There's no difference. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, boy. No difference in that. They are <laughs> sentient. You're creating sentient life and then snuffing it out for your own pleasure, apparently. Uh, There's a bit of a difference. <laughs> Uh, one, of the most, anyways. one of the most complicated <laughs> rules to actually work with. The rules of reality. I can always grab a shovel, I guess. <laughs> Dig myself deeper. Yeah, <laughs> so true. At least now you understand it. You yes, I have. to remind you of it. Oh my god. Alrighty. Um, I never said the superpower was going to be terribly, you know... Absolutely beneficial to everything. I don't think any of ours really are. I'm just apparently. There's always going to be a downside to it. Apparently, so I just really hate Charles Xavier and want to see him get stabbed. Yeah. David just has a freaking pelican jaw and I don't know, he's opening jars for people. I mean, that's kind of good. You're just making it cheaper for them to make The Simpsons. <laughs> 
or Family Guy, in which case you are a villain. The sad thing yeah. is, I know of better superpowers. One particular person, sadly I do not know the name, I do apologize, suggested the superpower of making it possible to stop any baby from crying. Yeah, but that... You would go for a superpower that you want, though. Yeah, but that's also not a good power, because <laughs> a lot of babies are going to end up dead. <laughs> no, just a simple case if a just a simple case if a baby is crying, you can just and the baby stops crying. They're not dead. Yeah, but it's not going to affect them. No, no, they just no. simply stop crying. Okay. But David, when when a baby cries, it's usually because they need something. So middle of the night, you're laying in bed. Next door neighbor's kid starts crying. You're like, boop, not anymore. <laughs> kid starves to death. <laughs> you killed babies now. <laughs> Definitely a decent point. So that's the downside to that superpower. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't bother suggesting it myself. <laughs> There's always a downside to every superpower. Okay, okay. So you have advocated the murder of babies. <laughs> hey, or that was not my superpower suggestion. It's it, just one I heard of. Yeah, okay, so inadvertently. Granted, you're not you're not intentionally murdering them. It's more of a byproduct. You're advocating for genocide, and I'm just stabbing annoying evil people. But, you know, you can stab annoying evil people anyways. Yeah, but I couldn't get away with it. Oh, so basically the superpower is just for getting away with it. Well, yeah, you jab a knife and run away really fast, they can't get you. I know I just changed this because I was bringing muggers over before, but now I think I want to do the stabbing myself. I see. <laughs> so, it, the long so and the all, short of it is... So all in all, I think we all learned today that if any of us gained superpowers, the world would not have a good time. We wouldn't be heroes, we would be villains. Yeah, most Apparently likely. Apparently I would be a villain. Yeah, because you'd probably help him make Family Guy, and that makes you a villain. Yeah, that would. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, you guys have anything else to add? No, for the I mean, most part, no, I think I'm If I was I'm making good. a f- making family guy, I'd probably make the jokes better. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd least. actually have jokes? Yes. Maybe. My goodness. <laughs> That'd be a first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's just a rather... That's just a suggestion. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think that's it for this week. Bye. See ya.